Hey, hey, welcome to Top Model Talk Show with your girl, Miss Tanisha, baby. I'm bringing it to you straight from the Modeling Bootcamp Handbook. We're going to keep talking about fashion. The last couple of videos, we talked about fashion. I want to talk to you today about the importance of having a great rapport with designers in fashion. Now, if you like something today that you learned, hopefully you will learn a few things more about fashion and working with designers. Please like this video and subscribe after it's over. Now, Having a good relationship with a designer is so important in models, okay? And what I mean by that is they want to know that you respect their craft. You respect their designs. You respect their clothing. Whatever they're putting you on, whether it be jewelry, okay? It can even be a purse, a handbag. Designers are of all walks of life. So they're actually kind of a... Uh, Emotional too, emotional creatures, you know, they kind of are sentimental when it comes to their designs. So please keep your opinions to yourself, all right? When it comes to them expressing their designs through different pieces of clothing, it could be even somewhere of an art piece to them. So make sure that you're not expressing your personal opinion. And your job as a model is to make those clothes come alive or that uh, handbag look fabulous and fierce that jewelry you know shine and look so good on you now when it comes to designers I love working with designers I'm not gonna lie that is one of my favorite parts of being a model because you get to see what it takes for someone to literally have an idea in their mind when it comes to fashion and they put it together on whether it be a sewing machine, whether it be handcrafted, or sometimes they actually use different types of materials. I wore a chocolate dress before. Yes, I had chocolate on my body, all right? And it was amazing. It even made the front pages of the Star Tribune. So when you get to put these different art pieces of design on you and make them come to life, it is so amazing. Now, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about Preparing to work with designers, one thing you're going to need is a makeup shield. A makeup shield is used to cover your face, okay? This is usually with a zipper. You put it on. It's to protect the designer's clothing. Not just the designer's clothing, but even if you're working for a client and it's ready to wear, whether it be Macy's or uh, Target or whomever, if it's clothing that needs to be usually pulled over your face, you want to protect that with what's called a makeup shield, all right? And it also helps when you're changing your clothes in and out, doing photo shoots and things of that nature for a booking, when you're changing multiple times. So make sure you get a makeup shield to protect your makeup as well as the clothing, which is the most important thing when you're on a booking. Now, a model bag, a model shoe bag. When you're hired for a photo shoot, or a fashion show, sometimes you are required to have your own model bag. What should go into a model bag? A model bag should be whatever is needed to complete usually an outfit, okay? So that could be from shoes to basic jeans to leggings to basic tops, and they typically lay over something to complete it. So for example, if you're working for such as myself, tons of jobs, for Best Buy. Best Buy is not a clothing store. They're more of a product store. So I have to bring different things to look as though I was a shopper at Best Buy. And what would I wear? It has to be neat, it has to be steamed, it has to be ready to go. So that's what you would put in a bag such as that. If I was playing like a soccer mom, I probably would throw in some khakis, um, you know, some basic t-shirts and some sneakers or some kids shoes, something simple like some bands. If I was going to a fashion show, they're going to provide the clothing because it's a fashion show. So when they provide the clothing for the fashion show, my model bag now because becomes what's called a shoe bag. And I am to provide several shoes of all variety based on the season and the type of clothing that I'm going to wear. These are questions you want to ask prior to going on the job. You want to ask your agent, is it fall clothes? Are we doing spring? Are we doing summer? And a lot of times it's off season. So just because it's July doesn't mean you may not be putting a fur coat, uh, you know, to sell something for coming up for Christmas or for the holidays. 
So know what type of show you're going to be in. Know what type of shoes and the season of shoes that you need to wear. Know if you need flats. Know if you need heels. Know if you need, know if you need any type of sporting shoes as well. Because if you're doing something for a sports show and you have no flats or no sneakers and everything is high heels, that's not going to work. So know your position when it comes to what you are need, need and required to have in your model bags. Okay, models? Now, the other thing when it comes to fashion is make sure that your nails, today I got on some bling bling, okay, because it's on my show, all right, Top Model Talk Show, and of course I'm wearing something fierce and fabulous, but your nails should be neutral, nice and neutral. If you're doing something for summer and you're wearing open toe shoes, make sure your toes are done, okay? Get that pedicure or do it yourself. So those are just some basic tips to be ready for your next booking when it comes to fashion. Okay, we want to end this with a special treat. I have in my hand a custom-made mask by my designer friend, Troy Anthony. And that's another reason why it's great to have a good rapport with designers because sometimes you get special treats. So we're in a pandemic. He made this special mask for me. It's more of a glam mask, all right, to go along with this beautiful cape he also made. Now, Troy Anthony is a designer that is now based out of New York. He did New York Fashion Week last year. He's an up-and-coming designer. And both the mask as well as my cape are both embellished with sequins. So, here we go. Now, isn't that fierce? So, even in the midst of a pandemic, you can still be fashionable. Thank you, Troy Anthony. Keep it fashionable.